Hello people on this internet, this is Crazy Monkey Dude sending in with another review. And this time I am going to review um something from back in 07, and this is Kalma. And he was the red villain of the year of 07. Now, I am taking most of this stuff from LJ, from his recap and reviews. I'm basically going off from the pros and giving you a bit more insight about Kalma. So everything you hear is either from... So basically everything you hear is from the community or just basic things. Of, it's just uh, experience, experienced firsthand um, from the set from the few days I've already have them. Alright, so let's just jump into the review with um, basically the story. And what he's supposed to be. So back in 07... Um, there are a bunch of these villains, and they were named the Baraki, which meant warlord in the Matoran language. So, Kalma, being one of the six, is supposed to be a squid, since all the Baraki resemble an animal. He is supposed to be a squid. He's got two long tentacles, orange tentacles on one hand, and little feelers in the back. And also, in the story, he found these little squids in the pit where he lives, and he breeds them for all the Baraki so they can use as their firearms. And, you know, in this story, he's also supposed to have, in this story, one of these eyes are blind, and I'm pretty sure it's this one, though it wasn't really stated which one's which. So, with that story out of the way, and what he's supposed to be, you know, let's go into the pros, um, pros of this set, back in 07, we got a lot of new pieces, which were these six armor pieces, which we saw in the Red Hydruka for, you know, a little bit of time. Then we got this, you know, um, these two orange flexible tentacles. Then you also had his head, his pincers, um... The squid and the squid launcher. <coughs> and that will be another pro and maybe con to some people. And that is the squid launcher. You use the squid launcher by taking your index finger and your thumb. And you hold, you put your index finger through the loop. Put your thumb down. Take one of the squid off of his back. You launch it in there and, you know, stick him in here with the eyes. These little nubs, which are the eyes. Facing this way, you pull back and let go. The faster you do it, the quicker it goes and the better result you'll get. Um, another pro is that he's got, back in the day, now standardized points of articulation, which are three in the legs, three in the arms, and one in the head, which is standard for most of them. His functions are basically these, the pincers, which you push together, they go clink, and the squid launcher, and that's really about it. Kalma, overall, in my opinion, is a really good set. Um, this color scheme was another pro. It goes really good, like, fading effect in the color scheme. I mean, like, especially with his thighs, which in his hips, you got the red legs, the bed, you know, these bottom, bottom half of his legs are red. They fade into black with his hips, and that's a really good blend of, you know, color scheme. Um, also for a new piece, I forgot to mention this, are his feet. They're just another remold of the Hortica foot. They just have these weird, um, thin pieces on the sides, which, if you don't want them, just clip them off, or I don't know. Now you got a red Hortica foot, but, you know. Now... It's kind of going to the cons, which very basic. And I don't think this really goes for many people, but it does go for some. One of them is going to have to be how simple his build is. Now, Kalma is a very simple build using the standardized um, Paraka build. And so a lot of people, I don't know if they'll like that. And some of them don't. I, for one, personally don't care. I just have Kalma in front of me, and I'm happy. <laughs> um, Khan, I guess, would be this big orange, I mean, it isn't, like, tentacle. 
doesn't really like fit into the color scheme at all. But I, for one, again, don't care for most of this. I just think I really like having Kalama here. Oh, here's something that I really do care about. I wish they had to fix this. But these flappy, annoying connections. I mean, they do when you move their arms up and down. They do move with that. That's the main reason why they're like that. But you hold them upside down, they'll start flapping. So, yeah. That's a con to some people. It's a little bit of a annoying to me, but it's really fine. Um, yeah, I guess that's really it. Um, yeah, Kalma, also back in the day, was $10, so that's cool. Um, yeah, that's really Kalma, though. Um, yeah, that's Kalma. Uh, I mean, <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna end this review off here it's not gonna be a long review it's not gonna be anything special so yeah Kalama is gonna be one of my first reviews out of all six of the Baraki um it's gonna be Kalama first it's gonna go and end on Pry Deck I'm gonna go in order as I had him set it up a little bit like a little while ago on my desk um so yeah, stay tuned for my next review, which will be on Car Park. And, um, yeah, like, subscribe this video. If you like this video, like it. Subscribe to me if you would like to. And let's see if I can get myself up to 50 subscribers. So, yeah. Um, also, I have a community. If you want to hang out on my community, just send me a request. Um, it is, send me a quest to this emerald, uh, to, um, the emerald eye. Look it up on Google Plus. That's my community. Um, shoot me a request if you'd like to join, and I will accept your request. Um, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. Um, and stay tuned for um, the car part review, which should be airing tomorrow, either today, later today, or tomorrow. Um, so yeah, this is Crazy Monkey Dude signing right back out with his review on Kalama, saying bye.